We're diving into the hot seat drama with owner Arthur Blank as questions swirl around the offseason decision not to pursue Lamar Jackson. Let's see what Blank said about Lamar Jackson. Click the like button and let's get to the news. Blank recently faced the media firing squad and said passing Jackson was not a mistake. Wait a minute, go back to last spring when he expressed concerns about Lamar's playing style and now we're hearing about cap space issues? Blank cites cap restrictions as a reason to avoid Jackson. But wait, didn't Atlanta have $75.4 million in cap space last January and $66.4 million in the spring? Something doesn't add up. Blank suggests that the coaching staff was so sold on Desmond Ritter that Lamar Jackson wasn't even seriously considered. True to Foucault, are we buying this? Ritter instead of Lamar? Blank argues that overpaying Jackson could hurt the squad's competitiveness. But wait, Baltimore is shelling out a lot of money for Lamar, and they are the bosses of the AFC. Wouldn't it have been advantageous enough? Blank had this to say, it's not a knock on Lamar. Who knows if they would have matched any of the offers available. I don't know, but he's certainly a great player. Blank clues that they didn't know if the Ravens would match the offers. Wait, isn't that what competent front offices are supposed to do? Make offers, negotiate and build a winning team? Blank's shift from concerns about Lamar's style to the complexities of space leaves fans scratching their heads. The Atlanta Falcons are suddenly in scramble mode when it comes to the direction of the franchise, and when that happens, the blame laying sometimes makes it difficult for those involved to keep their stories straight. It's outrageous for Blank to say that the only reason he's saying yes now is because Jackson had such a great year. Falcon Nation, we need your opinion. Is this a cap conundrum, an error in judgment by Ritter, or an understatement by Lamar? Leave your comments, click the like button, and subscribe to receive the latest Falcons news.